So good morning friends. It is just after 6 a.m. It's actually 6.03 a.m. And I've been up for quite some time now. I couldn't sleep very well. So I decided to start my day. I'm skipping the coffee today and I'm starting my day with a cup of tea. And I will show you the kind of tea that I'm having. I got a new subscription box that I tried out for the month of May and it's called Sips By and it's a subscription tea service and they send you samples of different teas. And the one I'm trying this morning to start my day is the Tea Pigs Lazy Days Lemon and Ginger Tea. So that's what I have in my cup steeping. By the time you see this, you'll probably already have seen the video I posted doing a review on my teas. So if you haven't seen that, you can jump on over there and look at my review on the Sips By subscription service. So this is how I'm starting my day. My lemon ginger tea. I'm not feeling very well this morning. Um, cramps just putting it out there I'm just not feeling too good so I'm having my 32 ounces of water and my lemon ginger tea and that's how I'm starting my day so I'll check back with you in a bit for my next food drink whatever I have next see you guys in a second oh I'm so aggravated right now guys I showed me measuring out my breakfast and then I realized it was in slow motion. Um, I'll try to include a couple of the clips from slow motion, but oh my goodness. All right, so I'm ready to eat my breakfast. My first meal of the day, I'm going to have a serving of the Schwann's frozen strawberries. And I decided to weigh them this morning. So 140 grams is a serving. I have 145 grams. And that will be my one serving of fruit for breakfast. And then I will show you what else I'm having. All right, so you can see here I'm having my oatmeal for breakfast with my frozen strawberries. I'm going to try my cashew milk. I don't know if it's in frame. I can't see the camera. Um, so one serving is eight ounces, but I'm not going to have that. I'm going just going to have two ounces. So I have my little container here. All right, there we go. There's some clumps in it. I don't know if that is normal. It's dairy free, so it can't be spoiled, I don't think. Let's see how it could be spoiled. Let me taste it. Tastes like cashews. Alright, so I'm just going to drizzle that. That's two ounces of cashew milk. And then I'm going to top it with my 140 grams of frozen strawberries, which is one serving. And then for my sweetener, I'm going to use a tablespoon of maple syrup.
Okay, so here's my breakfast and what I was saying in the video, I have a serving of the Schwann's oatmeal, steel cut oats, red quinoa, and flaxseed. Then I added to that two ounces of the organic cashew milk that I got yesterday. And I did weigh that out, measure it out. Um, hopefully I'll be able to insert those little clips from the slow motion. And then I weighed out 140 grams of frozen strawberries. And then I topped that with a tablespoon of maple syrup. So that's my first meal of the day, along with my 32 ounces of water. It is 11.30 right now. It's a little later than I am supposed to eat, but my stomach is feeling pretty icky. And this is the first time I've felt like eating, keeping something down. So there you go. There's my first meal of the day. It's 2 p.m. and I'm going to have lunch. So first I'm going to weigh out a serving of the turkey breast that I got. It is pan roasted turkey breast and one serving is two ounces for 80 calories. So I'm just gonna put it on my scale, whoops. Okay, it's close enough. I'm gonna have it on my Pepperidge Farm 15 grain bread. There's 130 calories for one slice. So I'm gonna have one slice of that. And then I'm also going to have a piece of Swiss cheese. One slice is also 80 calories. I hope you can see that. Whoops. All right, I'm going to assemble my sandwich. I'm gonna put some of the turkey there and my cheese. And then the turkey over top. I'm gonna use my pretty new steak knife that I was so graciously gifted. So do you guys cut this way or this way? I think it's prettier when you cut diagonal. Very nice, sharp knife. Very nice. All right, I'm gonna just add some mustard to that. I'm not gonna measure it because there's zero calories for a teaspoon and I'm not going to be using more than a teaspoon. I need to get some more mustard. The lid is stuck. There we go. I haven't used this in quite some time. I hate mustard juice. Here's my half a sandwich. Clean my plate up a little bit. All right, for my veggie for lunch, I'm going to have, I did get the veggie tray, but instead of having the cut vegetables, I want to finish up the salad that I had made from last week. So I have a little bit left, so I'm going to make out a cup of the salad. I'm 
a little bit of this is getting looking a little questionable, so I'm going to need to finish it up today and tomorrow, because after that it's not going to be any good. Go ahead with two cups. It's like a cup and a quarter. Right. So as my quote unquote dressing for that, I'm going to use one of my holy guacamole cups and use that over top as my dressing. And then that is my lunch. It's 7.13 and I'm going to have my dinner. So what I have here is two of the Sam's Choice Chicken Apple Smoked Sausages. I've had these in my freezer forever from back when I was shopping at Walmart. So I figured I wanted to use up some of the older stuff that I have. Um, hopefully my grocery store that I shop at now will have these because these are very good. But if not, I will shop at Walmart again. So the stats is one link is 100 calories. And I'm having two of those, as you can see there. And then for my veggie, I made a bag of the Schwann's Baby Broccoli Florets. I've had these in my freezer for a good while as well. Serving size is three fourths of a cup and there's four and a half servings in the bag. And there's 20 calories per serving. I would say I have I did not measure it. So I'm going to say I have four servings just to be on the safe side. I, uh, yeah, probably four servings, three servings, three and a half, I would say, but I'm going to round it to four just to be safe. So 80 calories for the broccoli, 200 calories for the chicken apple smoked sausages, and then you can't see it right now, but, oh, well, you can't really see my plate at all. Oops. Um, on the broccoli, I have a teaspoon of butter, and it's just the buttery spread. It's not actually like butter butter, it's imitation butter, <laughs> or margarine, I guess you would call it. Um, that's just what I had in my fridge, so when I get more butter, I'll get something different. I think, I can't believe it's not butter, it's pretty healthy. I'm not sure. I'll have to research that. But... That's what I have, the teaspoon of butter. I'm not sure the calories, I'll have to look. I'm thinking 25 calories, but I could be wrong. So it'll be at the end of this clip. Um, so that is my dinner. Like I said, it's 7.15. I don't think I'm gonna have a snack. If I do, I will show you guys. Of course, I have my 32 ounce bottle of water here that I'm having with it. Um, pretty simple tonight, not feeling well. Hopefully I feel like meal prepping tomorrow because it's so much easier when I have my food ready for me and just take it out and put it in the microwave. And if I'm not feeling well, I don't have to worry about cooking something and not feeling well. So there you go. I don't really feel like being on camera today talking about my wrap up. I know usually at the end of my videos I do a wrap up on how I felt about my food. So. You can just stare at my dinner plate <laughs> while I talk. Um, I felt really good about my food today. Um, I'm very satisfied. I'm actually not, I'm not full right now, but I'm not ravenous either. So I'm just okay. And I, if I didn't eat right now, I'd be all right. But I know if I didn't eat that later this evening, I would be very hungry. So that's why I'm gonna go ahead and eat kind of a light dinner well, it's not really light, but um, 
I have a good many calories left, so I was late eating my breakfast again. I'm still struggling with that, but I was totally satisfied with the oatmeal and the berries. And then my lunch, that half a sandwich I made, was surprisingly filling. Um, I don't know if it's because of the bread, because the bread was thick and it was like a grain bread and I'm used to eating like the thin white bread and usually I have, when I, if I make a sandwich used to, I would use two slices of the white bread and load it up with meat and cheese and not even feel satisfied, but that really satisfied me along with my salad on the side and my guacamole. So I'm really proud of my food choices this, today and I feel good about today's day of eating. So you might see a clip of a snack later, you might not. If not, I will see you guys tomorrow and stay tuned for the calories for this meal as well as the total daily calories. Talk to you guys soon.